All right, what's going on, YouTube, man? Let me tell you about the first time I did Zannies, bro. I don't know what you call it. Bar, Zanny, white bar, whatever the fuck you call it, but, man. Never the fuck again will I do that shit again. So, man, we, we was going to a party, right, man? And then, so my boys picked me up, you feel me? I was like, hey, bro, stop at the gas station. Let me pick up a four loco before the party. Let me, pre game, you feel me? Pre game. So I'm drinking four loco. We sipping, we driving, driving around, waiting for the party to start. Then the little white homie I kick it with, call him Young Coconut, you feel me? He was like, hey, bro, y'all trying to do some bars. I was like, in my head, I was thinking, like, hell no, that's like a white person's drug. Who the fuck does bars? Like, Nigga, where the weed at? Like, nah. But everybody else was like, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get some bars. Let's get some bars. Let's turn up. And then he was like, okay, how much y'all want? So one of my homies was like, yeah, give me three of them bitches. Let me get, let me get three. The other homie was like, let me get two. So in my head, I'm thinking like, man, I ain't never did this shit before. I hope it ain't like no bath sort of shit where I eat people face off. You feel me? Like. So I'm thinking, my heart beating fast. I don't want to seem like no bitch and be like, oh, let me just get one. I want to try half of one, you know? Nah, so I was like, let me get four of them, you feel me? I want to make it seem like I'm top dog around this bitch. Like, bro, bro, I'm top dog, you feel me? And then so, he was like, you sure? You sure you want to take four? I was like, yeah, nigga, don't ask me again, nigga. I didn't really say that. In my head, I was thinking that, though. So he was like, all right, all right, bet. I'm about to go get go get y'all some bars. We about to turn up. So okay. He get the bars. I take one. Still sipping on the four loco. And then I ain't feel nothing. You feel me? So then I take another one. Still ain't feel shit. Take the third one. Then I take the fourth one. I'm just sitting back, still sipping on my four loco. Of course it's the watermelon one. Don't say no racist shit. I'm just playing. But, okay. So I'm sipping on the four loco. We then the party about to start. So we go get some beers. We get four cases of beer. You feel me? So we go to a party. I'm handing out beers, you know, trying to get friendly with everybody around the party. So I could get some weed. You know, so I could get a smoke out for free. You feel me? So we just doing that. I'm drinking the beers. Then I start feeling sick. So I go outside and like lean on the car. I wasn't looking at the car. It was just any car in the driveway, you feel me? And then so, out of nowhere, a black nigga with dreads come out. I was like, hey, bro, what y'all doing on my car? I'm like, what? I'm looking around. It's an all white Audi, my nigga. Why the fuck I couldn't lean on the truck next to it? I leaned on an all white Audi, bro. That's owned by a black nigga. So, thinking in my head, I'm like, damn, this nigga about to, this nigga like some trap lord or some shit. And then like, this nigga about to fuck us up. So, I'm like, hey, bro, I was just leaning back. You know, you feel me? I don't feel good. He was like, oh, okay, okay. I ain't want to have to use this. So, he goes to the trunk and pull out a motherfucking AR-15. Bro, my heart dropped when I seen that shit. My heart dropped. It fell out of my motherfucking chest. And then, so, I get the fuck up off his car, go back in the party. You feel me? And then... I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. I look around for my homeboys. Ain't nobody fucking there that I knew. Nobody. I go outside, look for the truck we pulled up in. Truck is gone. How the fuck does that happen, man? So, luckily, Young Coconut was there with me still. And then so... We we still at the party chilling chilling and then he was like you know we about to leave after that I don't remember what the fuck happened bro like I remember waking up at a motherfucking middle school with a power drill bro with a motherfucking power drill who the fuck do I think I am Bob the Builder can I build it no I can't looking at, like it's not gonna happen like. And then, so, school police, you know, take me home. I don't know how the fuck they found out where I lived at, but I guess they found out where I lived at. So, my mom said, the first thing I did when I came through the door was like, 
Did you call the police on me? And she was like, go lay your dumb ass down. Stupid ass boy. And then so, okay. Next morning, I wake up. I still got the motherfucking power drill in my arms like I'm cradling this bitch like it's a baby or something. You feel me? And then, so I asked my mom, I was like, what happened? She was like, I don't know, you came home with a power drill, came home with school police, and this and that and that. So I'm like, wow, what the fuck, what did I do? So I called my homies like, hey bro, like, what the fuck happened? Like, they was like, I don't know, we left, we don't know what happened with you and young coconut. And then so, so I'm like, why the fuck did you leave me, bro? Like, what the fuck was your problem? It was like, well, we brought some girls with us, so there wasn't room for you or young coconut, so we had to make a choice. Nigga, what type of boys is y'all, bro? I just slap the shit out, y'all niggas. Like, huh? So I called young coconut. He was like, yeah, man, you came to my house last night, and then I went to the bathroom. I came back, you were gone. Like, you just left. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, so I go to a middle school? I was walking the opposite way from my fucking house. Where the fuck was I going? Like, for real. So, and then, he was like, you know what? Actually, you know, when we got to the party, you were already fucked up. Like, you were sleeping in the car already. So, he sent me a picture, bro. Don't get it twisted, we gangsta. Told you motherfuckers ain't shit sweet, nigga. Ain't shit sweet, nigga. Really in the cover, ain't shit sweet. I will put the picture up. Let y'all, like, see what the fuck I'm talking about. So you see that I was not lying. So, man. Never do Xanax. Never do bars, Xanax, white pills, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Because it's not going to end out good for you at the end of the night. So, you want more story times comment below subscribe if you like this i'll be back and black